It's time for our spotlight on the Salem Memorial District Hospital, and we are ready to dance up a storm here. Ay, 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 that's a nice little pun. <laughs> Chris Strickland, our COO from the Salem Memorial District Hospital, is here. And Jason Edwards is here as well from the right. dietary department. How, how's that get in with dancing, man? Dietary and dancing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. I'm, okay, I'm nobody all, else got that joke with me. I'm all for it. <laughs> I don't get it either. <laughs> Jason, he's the uh, he's one of the uh, he's a foundation member, one of the employer representatives for the foundation. So, and, and the comic relief. And, and uh, well, good. <laughs> I'm so glad because you are a funny guy. I'm just funny looking. Yeah. So, well, you are funny looking, well, but I you're a funny that. guy, man. <laughs> yeah. No, hey, we, we I've known Jason. It goes a long way back, long way. man. I'm back in the baseball days. Yeah, we, even before that, yeah. when you were a little guy walking, you know, around with your brother playing. Oh, yeah. Boy, that was and a long you're, time ago. Yeah. Now you're really making me feel old. I know it. Okay. Oh, but, hey, I'm That's only scary. 40. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't both twice that. That's, that won't get over that. I haven't but quite anyway. hit that hurdle yet. Yeah, so that's all right. Very good. Well, I'm glad <laughs> you're behind you me. Yeah, yeah. Not far. Uh, they'll be hey, there before you know it. Trust right me. It's all right. Anyway, Dancing with the Salem Stars. This uh, this has normally been, in the first two years, it's been held in December, obviously. And so this year, with the City Hall Auditorium undergoing some renovations, not able to do it in December and not really available here in uh, the spring as well, going into winter and spring. So uh, they had to be moved to Salem High School Gym. And in doing so, uh, it makes it a little bit of a, a different venture because now you've got a little different layout to have to try and figure it out. After you get it all down pat the first two years, then you got to go change everything. But no, the idea of the premise is still going to be a fundraiser for the mm -hmm. foundation. This has been a successful fundraiser for the last two years. And the fun thing is it's a lot of fun. Absolutely. That's a fun thing because it's fun. Fun to watch. Yeah, we just got to get Chris dancing now. Yeah, no, I don't I don't think so. I have two left feet. So. It's two left feet and a bad back. I don't know what you got. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's what, yeah. And a big belly, so that, yeah. that, that doesn't, can't spin very well with that. I'm off center. Yeah, but, you know, he could gator real well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just amazed. I'd just be interested to see what he would come up with dancing-wise. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I have no coordination. <laughs> well, but, but I will watch, so this yeah. is my first time watching. So You'll watch be, and cheer on, it'll right? It'll be fun. Well, Stan's judging, so. Yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be a judge out there this year. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. You know? I think the, the venue, though, with uh, being at the high school and the gymnasium gives us a little bit more area to work with. It's a nice stage. I mean, we're really appreciative to the school to let us use that. And, uh, and like, again, it is a, just a great, a great uh, – fundraiser a great event and it goes for a great cause it actually gives us more tables too so we Absolutely. have a chance to sell more tables get more people in there plus the bleachers we'll have uh, bleacher mm -hmm. seats for for people to come in and that uh want to watch and might show up that night and just get you a bleacher seat and go sit down and and enjoy the show enjoy right. then the festivities so so let's let's talk a little bit about obviously dancing with the salem stars there's 12 couples Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, they're all local couples. You don't go hire dancers to I think come we, in. We have the list of couples here. We can. If, if you don't have it, I got. I have it. So. Uh, Do you? Yeah. Well, I've got a story on it. I'm, I had to. <laughs> I had to ask Ruth Ann to get it. I didn't have it from the people I know here. <laughs> you, can, you can read the list. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, but the fun part about this is these are local people. Some people get a chance to dance with their spouses. And others don't. They yeah. actually don't dance with their spouse, which makes that even more fun. Uh, but it's it's a good time. Any kind of really dance is, is acceptable. You know, a lot of people will create their own kind of dance, mm -hmm. and other people will take some of the more traditional types of dancing, whether it be uh, you know, a waltz or, or, or a slower dance, and some people mix it up. So you never know what to expect till they get up there, right? Yeah, I wouldn't even know... I mean, I'm not very educated on the types of dancing. I guess you'd say I've heard of those, but two-step and waltz. And, right. But I think Stan's yeah. the resident expert on yeah, dancing. Yeah, he's, so. he's quite the... Well, I mean, you, you know, you get a lot of the Latin dances, the salsa and things oh, yeah, of that yeah. nature. And, and, you know, um, you can... Those are, are very quick, hard-stepping dances. You know, they just really are. And most of the people that you're going to see here are not going to probably do a salsa. <laughs> you know, they're probably not uh, going to do anything. It's, it's going to be taxing because you just really don't have enough time to practice that. Right. And I'll be honest with you, I'm probably about, what, half or over 50 who are doing this. And it, 
not as easy to dance that way when you get a little older. I can't see Chris dancing that way to bad back, and you drive that knee into that floor, and all of a sudden that back shivers, and you you feel it. And so, uh, but it uh, but it's been you, a lot of fun. You sound like you know kind of an experience. I've that. well, I've done this. Uh, yeah, kind of like <laughs> actually, I had a chance back in my twenties yeah. to compete for the solid gold dancers oh, wow. when they used to get residents in certain areas. So a girlfriend of mine and I we tried out for that. Came in third. Wow. You had to be in the top two. Came in I third. I learned something new every day. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, solid but, gold. Uh, yeah, there. solid gold. You we'll call it solid gold. You got you, you <laughs> to you remember how long ago that was. <laughs> you know, but she was, you know, I was a hockey goaltender. Yeah. She was a gymnast and a cheerleader, so very flexible. You could yeah. do a lot of different things. And that's what you had to be back then. You had to be young. You had to be flexible. Good quick feet. And I'm telling you, you, you had a routine. You had two <laughs> two-minute routines. And two minutes of going nonstop crazy, and it'll wear you out. Right. So, but, uh, but that was that was back then. Mm-hmm. This is not quite that way, but it's a lot of fun to watch people who don't have – I mean, really, when you think about it, by the time you guys announced the couples – you know, people have jobs, they have families, and, and they try and get into practices when they can. Um, they may get in 10, 15, maybe 20 practices um, to try and put together a routine. And I don't know if anybody's out there trying to put a dance routine. You watch maybe dance the real Dancing with the Stars. Well, these people are professionals. They can put a routine together in probably about an hour. That'll last a minute and a half. That's right. all it has to last, okay? Well, most of the routines at, at the Salem Dancing with the Stars are three minutes or more. Wow, I'd be way out of breath. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> well, in case you, you know, you can watch. As a matter of fact, on the website smdh.net is last year's Dancing with it, the Stars. It's on Facebook. It's on our Facebook page. It's on Facebook. I don't have it on the website. It's on the Facebook. Well, I thought page. it was on the website. Uh, I thought you could link to it off the website. You can probably link, link to it off. The, you can link to it off the website to our the, Facebook page. But I, uh, I thought it, on it was on the foundation page on your website. No, no, I don't think maybe? the videos are. Okay, all right. So go to the Facebook page. Go to SMDH Facebook page and check it out, and you can watch the whole thing, right? Yeah, yeah, you can watch the whole thing. Uh, it's it's uh, sometimes the music cuts out, sometimes it doesn't. So it's it's Facebook that does that, not not me. So I can only load the stuff. I don't know the all technicalities of it. So that's all Facebook. Well, and sometimes they'll do that because it's a violation of copyright. Yeah, that may be true well, too. So, and if you try and load that on YouTube, it won't load. Really? Because they'll see, they'll go through there and they'll say it up. That's you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. Uh, now, if you have a, a compilation of you mixing it all up, and that's not a copyright infringement because you can do some of that. But if you play a song directly and that's it, hmm. you know they. Uh, yeah, I actually had that uh, when I did interview Mick Bird. They took it off my YouTube. They said copyright infringement. I said the guy is here playing his own music. How can it be a copyright infringement? They don't care. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Learn something new every yeah. day. Yeah. So you gotta you gotta watch out for that. But but let's get back let's get back to dancing with the stars because this is something that uh, came up three years ago that uh, hospital foundation when it got formulated needed funds and this this was a, a golf tournament obviously we do and that's going to be coming mm-hmm. up and that's you're, you're going to yep. probably be talking a little bit about that as well today. We'll be, we're starting on that. Yeah. So, so uh, that comes up in June. Uh, but we also have this Dancing with the Stars, and then you have a new event that's going to be coming up, and mm-hmm. I want you to touch on that as well while we're here. But the Dancing with the Stars was, I, I don't know, who thought of this on the foundation board? Was it, do you have, do you know? Oh, I don't know. That was before my time. Yeah, I think it was Ruth you. Ann. So. Ruth Ann? Ruth Ann Parker, yeah. yeah. Ruth Ann, and then I, I think. Uh, and Connie does and Connie a lot Rushing, too, I think, yeah. were the two that, they were the driving force. And Judy force. Thompson. Judy Thompson does a lot Okay, of well, I know they were I do know that Ruth Ann and Connie were the driving force going around with the advertisement and things of that nature. So, very good. So, we've got the concept, and it has been very successful, virtually sold out both for the first two times, and we hope to get it sold out again this time. we got a lot of tables. We've I mean, we, tables this, the year, venue so. is, is way bigger than where we were. Right. And so, we've almost, I wouldn't say double, but it's it's at least a third more tables. So, it's... Right. In the years prior, we had the smaller tables... They're in the center. Well, this year, all the tables have equal amount of seats around. Yeah, they're all so, big tables. Yeah, they're all big and tables. They're either round more. or they're going to be the rectangular tables. So everybody has the same amount of seating. They're all the same pricing. So Okay, uh, now it's a $300 for a sponsor table? Mm-hmm. It's $300. So what, is, what does that get you? 
Like interviews with the dancers and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's well, well it, it's pretty much just it's what, what does three hundred dollars buy you? How many how many people can fit a table? You got six six seats at a table. Okay. Um, you get a uh, the floor seating. So and and then the we usually sell. You get to pick your table, but mm -hmm. usually they sell from the front back. So I mean, usually they'll start selling up. We will get about halfway through right now. So. Um, but every table has six seats around it. There's a round table, which are right in the center. You have two rows. And then you got two rows of rectangular tables on both sides. So, I mean, there's definitely definitely a lot more seating this year. Yeah, and with the sponsorship, I mean, you'll get your logo on the table. But we also do it on the uh, – we'll do uh, advertising on our webpage, uh, links to your website, and also Facebook and social media. I mean, we're on um, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter – so we'll go through the the whole gamut with social media as well. So, okay, very good. And uh, you will be providing all the media with a list of the sponsors, I'm sure, here oh, in the yeah. very near future. We have. Well, we're we're still selling tables. Well, I understand. So that, we'll be but... we'll be finalizing the list probably. I don't know about a week, week and a half, somewhere yeah. in there. But even even with that, uh, there will be still. There could possibly still be table seats left. Oh, there will be. After that, yeah. you know, and I might be a little bit further back, but there's really not a bad seat to watch the stage unless, you know, unless you're uh, in, in behind the stage. That's not a real good seat. Cause right. That's, that's where I'll probably be. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> but no, we are selling, like, individual table seats okay. if you don't want to sponsor a table. Um, if you just want to buy individual seats, they're twenty dollars a piece. As long as you do the early bird, you know before mm -hmm. the event, they're twenty five at the event. At the door, okay. yeah. And the bleacher seats are five dollars, which would you can before pick or any after, seat. before the event or after the. I mean, if it, can they order bleacher seats before? Yeah, oh, yeah. you can get them anytime. All right, and it's going to be five dollars, five dollars at the door, and five dollars. And it's just first come first serve with bleacher seating okay. yeah very good yep All right. very good so the the only thing with the individual table seats if you just buy an individual ticket you're not guaranteed where you're going to sit per se on the table floor i understand yeah okay so the sponsor will get their choice of location and exactly. then be able to you know get the people they want and mm -hmm. then have them yep. sit at, the, at that table yeah with the individual seats is that again that's going to be as you walk in the door first come first serve at a nine reserve table okay going to have escorts that take you to your table or something like that. i'm sure we'll figure something out we got some <laughs> we got some hospital volunteers that are going to be at the event so. very good very good and then and this is an, an, an all-encompassing <clears throat> event for the hospital i mean it's, it it helps benefit the foundation but mm -hmm. everybody participates you've got hospital people in the dancing with the stars it, and you'll have the you know case you'll be there you'll be there uh, a lot of people will be there from the hospital will be helping out uh, and making sure that everything is done and usually the, the night before when you guys start preparing i mean that is when the true crux of the hospital staff get there because that's a big event that's that that's where all the time. work happens yeah. is the night before and then the breakdown so yeah so it's, it's very interesting now now 12 couples salem stars do you have the couples there? i do i do you we want, can kind of just like go to, down the list you can all you right can. Well, the first on we've got the shat is I'm, I want to say that right. It's shots. 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 I always want to say shats. Yeah, I know. I yeah. do too. And he's my boy's band teacher, so yeah, I always I want to call him Mr. Shats. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> anyway. He can handle it. Kelsey and David. Shots. shots. <laughs> uh, you got. Uh, do you remember uh, Laverne and Shirley? Yeah. You remember what the brewery was? That was a little bit before my I know, time. but do you remember what the brewery was called that no. they worked at? It was in Milwaukee. Shots Brewery. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, I kind of faintly a, remember that. There's a, there's a that was way before. There's there's a trivia no, question. Way before my time. <laughs> You're six months older than I am. <laughs> uh, that way, me, way <laughs> before your time. That makes me more mature. Okay. So, anyway, shots. <laughs> yeah. Shots, all right? Shots. <laughs> okay. okay. And then you have Jimmy Cotner and Linda Mulady. Okay. Uh, Don Sneed and Lorna Sneed. Easton Mays and Donnie Steelman. Shannon Wright and Marilyn Schweitzer. Rocky Lindley and Lena Pettis. Jacqueline, I'm going to butcher this name. Is it Plates or Pilates? It's got two T's in it. I know. Yeah, um, so I didn't want to butcher it. Well, but it kind of looks like Plates. I think you did. Uh, did I? Yeah. Probably too yeah. late. Uh, yeah. It's, it's too late. And then you've got uh, you know, Trudy Rutland. Scott Roberts and Megan C. Then we have Jim Standfast and Rosalie Wright. Uh, Brett Caps and Jamie Jones, Rick Ragsdale and Melissa Ragsdale, John Mayer and Val Mayer, and I think that's all twelve. Okay, I think that's Platus. I think that's what. Is it Platus? I think it's, but anyway, we don't don't really know. 
But you know, it doesn't. I matter. think I'll find we'll out. Find out. Yeah, yeah. You'll know. You'll know. You'll know sooner. You'll know by the time they get announced. We'll check our email after this. We'll get angry emails. So now, now the the usually before it all gets started, Casey comes on, tells you a little bit about thanks everybody for being there, and a little bit about what's going on. Usually, an update of what has happened at the hospital the previous year to kind of get everybody up to date. Well, the foundation is very important in helping update a lot of different things in our hospital. Mm-hmm. We've got a brand new 3D mammography machine mm-hmm. that uh, top of the line, newest around here. And I'll tell you what, it's one of the best ones you can get. So, you know, if you need a mammogram, this is a place to go. Um, prices at Salem Hospital are usually lower, and a lot of times your insurance gets it covered. Yes. And if you can't afford one, contact them because sometimes that can be paid for. Yes. A lot of good yes. stuff. So that's part of what the foundation does, but also other needed items too. There's a lot of things going on at the hospital, Chris, that a lot of people just really aren't aware of. That this that this event can help out. Oh yeah, we're we're in the middle of uh, doing our our budgeting for our capital, um, and this this part of this the funds that come from the foundation help us uh, determine how much we're going to spend on capital and how much we can or what we can afford to spend on capital. Uh, there's there's a lot of equipment that we need, a lot of equipment that needs to be updated. There's uh, you know stuff that needs to be um, remodeled, and and so we're constantly changing, trying to grow um, out there, uh, and there's there's plans on on trying to bring new services in and stuff and so unfortunately that stuff takes money and so to to uh, get that stuff up and going we we have to do these fundraisers to try to uh, bring new services to to the community to the area and to to better serve the uh, residents of, of dent county and the surrounding counties very good okay now this is going to be held on saturday january 26th so about <clears throat> almost two months later than it has been in the past and usually it's the first weekend or second weekend in december and uh, so it's going to late. And somebody well, with said everything going on in December, I think it will actually have a pretty good showing. You know, everyone's kind of done with the holidays; they're back from vacation and stuff. Mm-hmm. So hopefully, we'll get more people out there. Well, I'm hoping. It's just hope the weather sits. The, that's, that's that's always true. the kind of key it's in, in January. Yeah, you never know. Uh, but the attendance for the first two years has been great. Mm-hmm. You know, so. I'm, I'm hoping a lot of people get out there. And if you, you know one of these people, <clears throat> it's always fun to go and cheer them on. And usually there's cheering sections, which is what's <laughs> the fun part about going to these. Because if you have a favorite, you get that little group up in that top corner in the bleachers. They'll be standing up, waving signs, and having a good time. And that's really what makes this a lot of fun. Because you get that crowd reaction to, to people they know. And, uh, you know, I can tell you that since I danced in it last year. That's the fun part, you know, as you being on the stage doing it, you know, when the people get behind you, there's they're just no better feeling than that. So these dancers will have a good time, but at the same time the crowd gets into it. And you hear this discussion, you know, uh, you can actually hear people talking about it when you get done, and, and that's kind of fun, you know, for the dancers. Now for the crowd, you got 12 great acts that are going to come up there, and it's going to be diversified. It's not going to be the same for all 12. It's entertainment. It is. It's entertainment for a good cause. So I mean, I mean, what better way to spend your Saturday? It take you well, depending upon the length of the songs and and stuff of that nature. Probably about an hour and a half to two hours. It'll all be over. And, yeah, we got a little entertainment know, in between right. while we while we count votes and stuff like that. Right, so. there's a little something in there. It's usually at the end of that, but it, uh, yeah. you know, it's a it's a you know interesting interesting format because you got twelve dancers back to back to back to back to back. And, no time to rest. Right. And, and it's something you don't always uh, see. And it's and if you watch Salem or if you watch Dancing with the Stars, you know they judge every act right after the act. Well, they don't do that here. It's all kind of secret ballot, but uh it is still it's very important that uh, the judges are there and and making sure that there's a criteria to follow. It's kind of vague, but it still is by criteria to follow. But still it makes it fun because you never know who's gonna win. You know, we've had anything from uh, a kind of Zumba dance routine all the way to uh, traditional uh, two-step waltz. Uh, a little bit of disco in there a few times. That had to been Stan. And, and the, no, that wasn't Stan. <laughs> Stan actually did swing. So, you know, yeah. you uh, you can do a lot of different things. Swing and ball, just ballroom slow dance, and you can just do that. But uh, ballroom slow dance, pretty slow. You know, so I usually have to kick it up in there somewhere. So maybe even a little bit of line dancing in there. There you and go. There may be a little fun. bit of that. You know, that. a lot of people like I to incorporate stuff. Now, last year they actually had a uh, almost a skit 
that was done. Yeah. You know, so you just never know what what these these couples come up with as part of their routine because, like I said, the rules are very vague. It leaves it wide open. Uh, you know, not like uh, you see on on the TV where they have to they have to do this and incorporate elements of that dance. That's not required here. So it's pretty much an open dance. Do as you wish to do, and so it's a, it makes it a lot of fun. You know, and even when the people participate, you know, they have a good time doing it. They might get a little bit nervous when they get up there, but at, at the end of it, they, they're pretty happy they they did it for the most part. Well, you probably kind of want to make the rules a little bit laid back. That way, they're not so feel like they have to be so particular exactly and you know. like i said it's just for a good good cause oh it's fun yeah it's, yeah, fun. it's for it's fun you know and uh, and there is prizes oh there is the prizes dances, yes you know. there's so gift if, certificates <coughs> awarded if they and want them and, and uh, most of the time they don't cash but, prizes so. but uh you know it's uh it's all all works together to help out our foundation which uh you can help out your foundation in a number of different ways so while we're talking about dancing with the stars again tickets are available through you? Yeah, you can call me at the hospital okay. and we can get you set up. The The tables are $300 a piece. Um, if you want to be a sponsor. If you want to sponsor a table. Okay. If you just want a table ticket, they're $20 a piece as long as you call early before the event. They're $25 at the door. Um, that just doesn't guarantee you a table. It'll guarantee you a table seat, but you just don't know where it's going to be on the floor. Um, and Could you be in the cafeteria, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will tell you, it'll all be on the court. That's my favorite place. <laughs> yeah, it's all be all TV vision. Yeah. Uh, or we have bleacher seating. They did too, that at graduation. I'm telling oh yeah. You. Yeah, they had to. Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do. You got to do Jeez. what you got to do. Yeah. No, or so we have the bleacher seating. Bleacher seats. Yep. So all they got to do is contact you at uh, 729-6626, extension 2110. Oh, man. He's got it. Look at that. I've been on the radio a lot, I guess. You have. <laughs> that is, it was on the on the. Oh, it's on the you fly. cheated. Story I did. You cheated. Well, I'm not looking at the story. Oh, okay, I'm, okay. I'm doing it by memory here. Oh, so okay. anyway, you. so 2110. Now, how long will you take the advance tickets all the way up until the event? All the way up until the event. Very good. Right. Yeah, the day of. Yep. Yeah, so you're, you're good to go. So you have to do it by Friday, obviously. Probably right. working, normal working hours on Friday the 25th. Right. Because obviously Saturday, you're going to be busy. Yeah. All you guys will be busy over well, there. I'd say on Friday, Saturday. too. I mean, we'll be up setting up for the event, getting ready. So we start over there around 3. But I'm sure yeah, somebody been... will be able to get contact. If not me, you can probably call and get a hold of. Right. I'm sure you can get a hold of somebody. You know, yeah, and with the bleacher seats, if you're going to get a bleacher seat, you can wait till the night of the event. It doesn't change. The price right. doesn't change. The price doesn't yeah. change. Yeah. You, know, you can show up at the door. and you. So if you show up early, bucks. you'll probably get a, a decent seat. Well, bleacher seat, you're going to see anywhere. Table seats, they're going to be, you can, it's a good spot anywhere on the floor. I mean, it's just, it's a bigger venue, so. Right. I mean, you can see the, the stage is elevated. So. You sit, so. It'll be a nice. It'll be a nice event. Yeah. It'll be very good. Can I have concessions? Mm, we will have some. We'll drinks have like and a few tea things. and water and okay. lemonade yeah. stuff like that. But yeah. not necessarily anything for sale okay. per se. Yeah. Might want to look into that. Could be another fun. Be something. In there. <laughs> you know. Well, we want people to come and enjoy themselves. So. Well, yeah, but you can enjoy yourself with a, <laughs> you know. A, piece of pizza or beverage too, yeah that's you know? true yeah, that's true right. that's a good thought <laughs> you know hey there'll be got, candy out there you've got the concession stand <laughs> there it's already there that might you be just, something being a new venue we hadn't thought about maybe yeah, talking mm -hmm. to the uh school, to the school yeah to see, they because they i do know they store a lot of things in there but. Yeah. yeah but i mean i just didn't know because a lot of people i know when it was at city hall by the time that ninth or tenth dances come around it's getting pretty warm yeah you know so people are getting a little thirsty and they're really oh, especially we'll have in drinks in the there'll be water and stuff well i know but in the balcony and things there wasn't and wow. so you know so wow. they, they they had to go down to the soda machine and buy something there and then come back so i just didn't know if you would you know it's another way of making a few bucks uh, offer some concessions yeah it's uh, a good idea. Might be, think might about be that. something to consider if you hadn't already. You dropped something. Is that my check? No. Nope. No. Not yours. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping. All right. Very good. So Dancing with the Stars. Tickets are available <coughs> right now. Uh, if you want to buy your, t your table seat, $20. $25 the night of the event. That's just for a table seat, not a guaranteed spot. If you want a guaranteed spot, you can become a sponsor. You know, and being a sponsor really helps out because it's three hundred dollars, but you get a specific area that you're going to sit. All your nice. six tickets, and you know, plus and, with and the you'll, um, 
doing a little bit of marketing for your if it's a business or whatever sure. you can throw it on sure and they, facebook page and they usually give you a couple pieces of candy and stuff of that yeah. i mean there's yeah. a little, little niceties that are given to you there as well and well you know but the bleacher seats are five dollars so it's not extraordinarily expensive it's a great night of entertainment and you're going to see a lot of your your friends and neighbors out you know having a good time and that's what it's really kind of fun you know, we've had some pretty cool events now in Salem with the non-newlywed game and, you mm -hmm. know, Dancing with the Stars and different things of that nature where it's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, the casino night was a, a blast. That was a blast, a, yeah. Had, had, had a lot of fun. Great time. So, you know, they're becoming more and more events now in Salem. I hope people take advantage of that and get a chance to get out there. Because, you know, when you see your own local people doing it and competing, and they're competing – not to try and win a grand prize of $100 million or even a mirror ball. I mean, yeah, I, know, I won the mirror ball, and there wasn't one. Uh, but, well, that's why I didn't want to win too hard. So, I just, No, <laughs> kidding. I always want to win. I'm very competitive. But, you know, the idea is, yeah, you want to compete and do your best. And these people, again, you got to compliment every single person who volunteers to do this. They don't get paid a dime. They put in their own time, volunteer, do the dancing. Uh, you got to find time to get with your partner. That's not always easy. Uh, to get that done and then uh, put on a routine that you think is going to be fun for everybody to watch and have a good time with. And so got to tip your cap to every one of those volunteers, all 24 that you got yeah. dancing. Really for for three that. minutes, they put in lots, lots hours of, of work. So. You do. For three do. minutes. Uh, right. I mean, kudos to them. You know, and, we're and really I, appreciate And if anybody's yeah, ever danced three minutes, try it. Okay. I mean, actually put together a different routine for three minutes to where you're doing something and there's a lot of work in there so the choreography uh, you know, and everything you got to think of and then well you know some people and as soon as you, and you get to a little bit of an advanced stage you got limitations bad knees I mean, bad bad it's a talent that's a talent you know, so, to be able to do yeah stuff. so uh, anyway it, it but it is a lot of fun so we hope people go on out watch it you'll 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 laugh you'll clap um you know and of course, is David Maskell going to be your MC? David Maskell is. Well, going he'll to be make your it MC. fun too because he'll interject different things in there. Oh that, yeah, that always makes it kind of fun. David's a, a fun-loving guy, so you know it'll make it easy uh, to listen, to watch, and have a good time with. And so just just plan on spending a couple hours uh, out of Salem High School gym, January 26. Gates doors open. I shouldn't say gates because there's no <laughs> real gates out there. Uh, but they do lock the doors. I guess you kind of call it a gate. Uh, doors open six thirty, mm -hmm. and then the show starts at seven. Yep, okay, so very good. They start dancing at seven. So. Starts dancing at seven. Very good. All right, well, you actually won't start dancing at seven. That's when Casey will get up and start talking. You know, so you got to about ten minutes. <laughs> maybe we'll get maybe we get him dancing first. Uh, he won't do it. I know. We tried. He uh, won't we, do we've it. We've tried. Trust me. He yeah. won't do it. I can't believe it. He won't do it. You know, the guy is. <laughs> Nimble and, Debbie and, and light on his feet. Debbie danced. Debbie Hines, Debbie did. she's yeah. a dancer. Yeah, she so. did. She did. Yep. Need to get Jason. Nope. Yeah, I know, I know Jason. On, hey, I'm the singer. You're the super well, athlete. You, can, man. you know what? You can sing and dance at the same time. You know. Yeah. You, well, that's true. You're like I Sammy just, Davis you know, Jr. Do yeah. a little singing in the rain or something. Jason Edwards Sr. You, you want us to put rain on that stage? Well, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll slip and fall. Yeah, exactly. So but I know what behind you. But if I get hurt, there's a good place I know to go. I know. Yeah. Oh, there you yeah, go. There's a little plug. <laughs> there's, yeah. there's sports medicine. Well, I'm, sports, sports medicine right in Salem World District. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping we don't need an ambulance on, the, on site. Yeah, that'd be... Uh, <laughs> that would not that be, may be something We'll probably else. be there for advertising so. there yeah well i know but i mean you know not like you do a football game where actually they're ready to go in a yeah. moment's notice so very good all right so this is a fun this is a very fun event january 26 get your tickets now just call the hospital 729-6626 extension 2110 or ask for jason edwards correct yeah you know if you don't know the extension or can't remember that say you said it too fast yeah <laughs> okay just ask for the goofy dietitian don't know who you're talking about there's only one yes. yeah i know <laughs> the one and only <laughs> goofy dietitian <laughs> The ex-baseball player. There you, know, you go. The singer. Guy. The the extraordinaire. Yeah, there singer. you go. All right. Oh, very geez. good. Now, um, and, and I, I want to you know, remind people that this is not the only event the foundation does. The foundation relies on a lot of these fundraisers to, ra to raise these funds to get these things done. So, Chris, I know we've got a golf tournament coming up in June. I know you've already been kind of getting that started as well. Yes, the golf tournament will be June 7th. It's uh, the first Friday in June. Uh, we try to do it first Friday in June every year uh, out here at Spring Creek. Um, last year we had, I think, 22 teams. 
going to shoot for around Something like that. 36 this year. We're going to try to make the tournament a lot bigger. Uh, we'll be providing breakfast, lunch, dinner. Uh, drinks will be free. Food will be free. Um, you know, it's it's going to be a good time. Uh, I've started uh, sending out stuff. We're just now getting everything kind of lined out, uh, you know, letter wise and everything to start sending out. Uh, so we'll be you'll start seeing the first rounds of letters going out here uh, this month, uh, and we'll be starting to uh, put all that together. So it'll be a good time. Three man teams. Four man, four, four man, man scrambles, man scrambles. Okay. four man four scrambles. Man scrambles. So okay, very good. We'll have a a morning tee off eight uh, a.m. and then we'll have an afternoon tee off at one p.m. It'll be eighteen holes. So very good. Yep. All right. And do you have a price on that yet, or are you still working on that? Still working on okay. the price. Well, the, the teams are going to be 300 $75 dollars a person. Okay. So the teams will be 300 but I'm still working on pricing for okay. sponsors and everything. Okay, so when can somebody actually sign up for the golf tournament? I mean, I, you could probably say right now, right? You, you yeah. could. I mean, you can send it in. I have uh, the entry forms. I'm, I, matter of fact, I was working on them yesterday, uh, redoing them. Um, and they'll be going out there. Uh, I'm going to start a round of emails today to uh, some of the larger spon- uh, sponsors. Um, but I'll start, you'll start seeing the letters going out here very soon. I got to get the, the envelopes stuffed and stamped and mailed out. So that's a lot of work, too. So I think you can find a you know crazy dietitian that could help you. Yeah. yeah. I used to know one. I, mean, <laughs> I did know one, but I don't know where he went. All right. So the golf tournament. Uh, again, that's going to be June 7th. Last year, the weather was perfect. Oh, it was great. Yeah, it was gorgeous. awesome. A little, little nice breeze. I'm, I'm waiting for the weather to clear up. i got a new driver. i got to get out there. And it's sunny right now. Man. It's a little chilly. Sure. A little chilly for me. It was, 60, a little windy. it was 65 Saturday. What, uh, where were you? Uh, yeah. Actually, sick. I went and played golf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was out there playing golf. You should have taken his driver yeah. just to check it out. Well, my I, wife didn't, and I didn't get a phone call, though. They, so, yeah, so. well, I didn't either. Uh, I was in St. Louis. Yeah, so I'm sorry. I was having a nice yeah. couple's day. I was uh, with my wife. Oh, we played okay. golf. We enjoyed the day. Yeah, it, was it was a nice. beautiful day. To it enjoy. was nice. Man, it, it was gorgeous. Nice. It was absolutely fantastic. Sunday wasn't too bad either. You yeah. know, Very good. All right, so that is uh, the golf tournament. Now, this is the fourth? Fifth. I think it's the fourth. I think it's the fourth. Fourth, yeah. All right, fourth annual uh, SMDH Foundation Golf Tournament. And if you need more information, you can get a hold of Chris. And he's at the hospital. I don't know what your extension is. 4003. 4003. You don't ever call it, do you? <laughs> no, I, <don't. laughs> I call it every day. Yeah, I'm sure you, know. you do. 4003. <laughs> like if, if you want more information, um, if you want to be a sponsor, you want to find out how to sponsor a whole uh, last year, you allowed we'll some have, vendors yeah. to put ten. We're gonna and I here. have a new deal for vendors this year. Okay. Um, instead of having to do a full full sponsorship, if you just want to do some marketing and go out there and set up a tent or a table, we're doing whole uh, where you can put them on a on a hole or a tee or even up front. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a hundred bucks flat. So okay. but they I mean, can sponsor a hole, right? Yeah, sponsoring is a little bit more, but I'm I'm trying to get more involvement from the local vendors, right. and and it's when you get more involvement from the local vendors and they're giving out some free stuff. It's it's more it's better. For the players, because the players get more stuff, and you mm-hmm. get you get more, you bring more teams in. The more stuff they get, the, the more teams you get yeah. brought in. So, so the more money we'll actually end up raising, and it's just, I mean, a hundred bucks to go out there and 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 market to all day. Thirty six teams and everyone else that comes through there and advertise all day is mm-hmm. is really nothing. Yeah, so. that's that's a good that's a good price. Very good. All right, good. So, but if they do want to sponsor, that's still available. And the sponsorships are available too. Mm-hmm. I'll have the pricing for that set probably this afternoon. Okay. Very good. So if you're interested, just get a hold of Chris at the 729 extension 4003. Yes, I've been told that, so yeah, I'm assuming that'll that be right. true. No, it now, is right. <laughs> now, I know, and I know, and I know I might, I might want to jump the gun a little bit, but it was brought out at the last board meeting, so we are going to talk about a new event that Foundation is going to be putting on that's going to be out at the Commons, and it's going it's to be... It's a very um, new it's event. It's going to be a wing ding, isn't it? It's, mm. it's going to be, yeah, there you go, wing ding. There wing you go. good. Uh, so what we're trying to put together, and, and I'm working with uh, our good friends out there, Jared Brown and uh, out there at uh, J.B. Malone's, they're going to be uh, helping us put together this event. It's a wing-off with a concert. So we're trying to, uh, we'll be doing the wing-off, and, and very early, don't even, we only thing I have right now is the date, right. is August 3rd. Um, Times-wise, we're probably going to be starting around for the wing-off noon, one-ish, and then we're going to start with a concert probably around two or three and have, I think we're going to try to get around four bands out there. So, 
So it's going to be a good. concert that goes goes well into the to the evening, uh, and we'll be uh, having con- we'll have concessions out there. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Now are these um, wings going to be judged, or is this yes, the be wings, a wing off where everybody can prepare wings and the wings are going to be judged, judged by individuals. Or it'll by be judges? we'll have a a committee that will or a committee of judges that'll go around. Um, you got to start that earlier than noon. <laughs> I mean, they'll be cooking wings at 5 a.m. Well, you can no, start anytime yeah. you want. Judging will probably start around noon or oh, one. Okay. Um, so we'll you know, we'll be selling teams out there, so you can you can enter in a team. Um, don't have the price for that yet. Haven't right. put together that package, um, but we'll be putting putting uh, something together so where you can come out there, set up your your pit, set up whatever you want, or your fryer, or whatever you want to mm-hmm. set up with your tent and everything, and that way people can come around. Uh, the general admission they'll be able to come around and get get wings and stuff but it will be there will be judges that come uh try your wings and will be able to uh you'll you there'll be prizes for for winning the the wing off as well and then as that's winding down we're going to start up a big concert we're wanting to promote this all the way up in rolla all the way over mm-hmm. in houston licking all over we're trying to pull in i'd like i mean the commons is a big area so if i can pull in thousand people i'd like to be able to do it so okay very good well, as people, you know, say, well, August is a long way away, but it isn't when you're planning it. No, it's it is not. I'm, I'm a little, uh, I, you know, we're, uh, uh, J.B. Malone's going to be helping us out with a lot of this stuff, and, and uh, they do a lot of this, you know, you go out there, and mm-hmm. they have bands out there and stuff, and uh, they're going to be helping us out with the stage, and so talking to 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 them out there and they're like yeah we're a little behind the ball as it is so we're yeah. we're trying to get this thing uh put together and uh, it's going to be the first one because you have to work out all the bugs right right mm-hmm. it's going to be a good time though i'm i we have uh some some good good bands that we're talking to trying to get out there and and uh trying to get some good local talent with some some followers to go out mm-hmm. there and have a just have a good kind of day-long party yeah you know, really, it's, it's kind of yeah, the ending long barbecue is what it really gonna end up being isn't it yeah really it's a big barbecue <laughs> end of summer getting towards the end of summer you know and vacations might right before you go on your last vacation right, right when you get starts, back from your yeah. last vacation you know you can go out there and and uh have a good time so yeah, I, I didn't know ksmo was a sponsor but i guess i am there you go <laughs> You know, you I was go. already told I was. You got voluntold. I, was I get that all the time. Yeah, I was yeah. voluntold. You know, yeah, at, I'm at the board meeting, you, yeah. KSMO will be a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> See, okay. Okay. when you come to the board meeting, you just get voluntold to do things. So. <laughs> and we'd be glad to do it. So that's that's we'll help out whatever we can. So it'll be it'll be a good time. That's a it's a new event, so this will be our first time, and we're hoping that's going to be. I mean, the golf tournament's a large event. Uh, Dancing with the Salem Stars is a pretty good size event, and I'm hoping that this this concert's going to be. Huge. A huge event. Yeah. I'm hoping that it's going to be one of these events that that you know we can do annually in the city. Uh, the the community is really get behind and, and count on you know because I come from a small town, um, in well right outside of Waco, Texas, and in Waco we had the Margarita and Salsa Festival every year, and it just got bigger and bigger, and it was for charity, and it started out you know small, and mm-hmm. it just got bigger and bigger. So I'm hoping to start this out small, get a couple, get you know get get a good crowd there, and then as this grows just get it bigger and bigger sure one step at a time one right? step at a time man i got i got you know delusions of grandeur i guess you'd say so well, i don't think it was delusions <laughs> well, i dream big it, it i dream big <laughs> <laughs> it might be no we but uh but but this is that's what we're saying the progression continues to, to go hospitals doing more and more and more become more community involved uh we've got we got the program going on at the high school uh, you know, with uh, the kids getting better treatment and, and being able to get uh, wrapped properly and get everything done, uh, which is great. That's fantastic. We we appreciate that. Also, you know, just different things you're doing at the hospital. You know, they're trying to get get new services there. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, people don't may not even know that we have you know a, a sleep disorder uh, station at yeah. our hospital. We a lot do of sleep people studies. Really yes. don't know that we do sleep studies yet. And we're going to be working a lot of different things on the marketing on these kind of things because they are not known. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, you know, we're going to help come bring all that out. But uh, all that is made possible by a lot of these different events and the foundation being able to invest those dollars back into the hospital. And so 
without them it makes it tougher and 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 people are starting to realize that the hospital out there we're we're a full service hospital we have everything mm-hmm. so you don't have to go to rolla or st louis or springfield to get treatment you can do everything right here now if it comes to like a, a specific specialty you're probably going to have to go to st louis you're probably going to have to go True. to springfield True. but everything else we can <clears throat> handle right here so and one of the other things that our hospital does that i don't know if any other hospital does is have three health fairs a year Mm -hmm. you may have one and i have seen many do one i'm not seeing smd8 smd is the only one i know there's three and they actually do four because you do one down at montauk as well Mm -hmm. you know so there's actually four um but the uh, smdh health fairs over the salem community center of the army was it 1500 people last year almost 1500 uh, it was i was a little less than that i think okay. it was about uh, ended up being about 1200 11 1200 okay all right well we'd like to get 50 i'd like to get 1500 it'd you be know, nice and that's going to be coming up next month it's not even a month away well, that's february be, 6th and 7th that's what i meant so, not even mm-hmm. a month away so it'll be here and then we have another one in in may and in, in may. september yep mm-hmm. so uh again if, and it's an extraordinarily cheap way to get services that you won't find at that price anywhere i guarantee no. you you know, and it's, and people need to take advantage of it because, like, your body density, 35 bucks, really? Oh, oh body density is free. Yeah, no, the, uh, no, you're talking about body fat percentage. Oh, no. body fat percentage. His, okay. his thing is right. free. Yeah, your he tells you right. your BMI and all that good stuff. He tells me I'm fat all the time. No, so. Yeah. yeah that, <laughs> Every time that. I pick up my food, he looks at me, and I'm just like, I'll put it back down. Yeah, so. that body you mass just, index. You just, that's, that's not me looking at you. Yeah. That's your inner you looking <laughs> at yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 the bone density to thirty five dollars that's gonna that's like five or six seven hundred dollars in many hospitals oh right? yeah you know and you can get it for thirty five bucks and, and it's you just go right to the hospital get right. it done and you're done you don't really wait at all and so take and, advantage and that, of these things that test that you're talking about the DEXA scan is it's becoming. Um, more and more of like the 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 uh it's a, it's more and more of a thing that bodybuilders are using or fitness pros are using mm-hmm. to where you just go get this scan done and it really tells you where your body fat percentage is so if you're trying to lose weight or i mean it, it's used for bone density and for osteoporosis sure. and things like that but it's also a service that has become more of a kind of a, i guess you'd say mainstream service to just a regular consumer of the fitness industry and stuff so that's pretty neat yeah and, and that's that's a part that wasn't initially part of what they were talking about but it you're right there are more right. uses than one for every piece of equipment over there at that hospital they use it for a number of different things so definitely want to take advantage of this and, and of course you can get so many different tests on your lipid profile obviously your we always call it the health fair profile which is your lipid profile the one you have to fast for mm-hmm. uh, you know when you do that and you can get all those results whether you have them sent to your doctor or not you can keep an eye on it and you can see you know if your triglycerides are at five thousand you probably need to go see a doctor pretty quick yeah or a dietitian <laughs> or a dietitian well yeah and, and you're there and you Absolutely. can help out people and uh, jason i've talked about different diets and i've taken his advice and cut back on this on the what it is and smaller bites and slow eating and mm-hmm. drinking a little water in between i mean anything, balancing meal plans balancing meal plans more fruits more vegetables but you can still cheat yeah I mean, you don't. Yeah, that's, it's, what, that's a whole neat thing. Yeah, the key is, is just what is your consistently, what are you putting in your diet on a consistent basis? It's not about whether you cheat one time, it's what are you doing every day. Tell them what part. happens though when you cheat one time massively. Uh, you feel like a slug, don't you? <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> I've been the there. The next day, you just drag out of it. If bed, I you're eat, like, oh my God. You know, six wrong? days a week. Eat right, <laughs> right like you're supposed to. Mm-hmm. Eat a good steady meal plan on my fruits, my vegetables, a good quality of my whole grains. Then let's say I want to go eat a double cheeseburger. And don't get me wrong, I'm a dietitian, not a saint. <laughs> I don't like my double cheeseburgers every yeah, once in a while. But, right? but we all pay for it. And yeah. when you eat it, you feel it. So And it just gives you more incentive. Hey, okay, you ate that. No big deal. Yeah. The next day... You're getting right back on the same plan you were right. to make you feel better. Double Your metabolism cheese, double increases. Cheese extra large flies and that big malt. Yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while. <laughs> really? And that's, you know, the next day you're just, uh. I'm telling you. Oh, you I mean, and that just change. slows your metabolism, you, you know. You know, and, and we, you know, we, we talk, and because this is very important that we do talk about things with the hospital, eating right is huge. Mm-hmm. And, you know, this time of year people stop because they're stuck inside. 
sometimes they stop getting out and exercising because they're stuck inside. They, they, they need to still exercise. They still need to get around. That doesn't right. mean you got to go run a marathon, but right. you still need to move. But when you start getting sedentary, the weight starts to come on, which starts to get really hard to get off. And the older you get, the worse that gets. But you can just continue to watch your diet. Cut back a little bit on those shares. You know, if you're used to eating three ribs, eat two. Right. You know, but eat them slower. <laughs> and this time of year is, it's well, this time. Well, I'm going talking about the holiday seasons uh, through Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's tough. Oh, I know. When you got family bringing food around and yeah. sweets yeah. and, you know, high saturated Pies. fat foods. Yeah. And it's just, it's really tough to stay away from One tray and cookies. Yeah. I mean, it's just, you almost want to, if you can't be around the food without consistently going and getting bite after bite after bite mm. it may be something where you have that meal but make sure family take it with them when they go exactly you totally. know so if it just but there are things you can you can have during those times that i mean you can use leftovers just use them right mm -hmm. and leftovers good recipes for leftover turkey and all those things that you can use and keep <laughs> the calories and all that down you don't like turkey? I don't like turkey. Not a turkey guy? Oh, yeah. You like chicken? I like chicken. Well, I like leftover chicken. Oh, I love cold chicken. I, I'll absolutely I like Cold pizza. Up. I like cold Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Yeah, people cold beer. Like, I like yeah. cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's another event. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a different event. But, but you know, I guess my, my last thing is saying is, is that this is the time, though, to keep your body regular, get the fruits in there. Eat properly. Get those vegetables in there. Not the you don't have the fresh vegetables from the farmers market and things of that nature right, right now, but you can still get good vegetables. Get Absolutely. that fruit. Continue to eat properly. You know, hey, I, I eat an apple virtually every night. Mm -hmm. You know, or an orange, one of the two. You know, when I get home. It used to be a piece of pizza, a piece of chicken. You know, salami sandwich, something of that nature. When I got back from a ball game, I'm hungry. Right. All right. It's an apple. Right. So, you know, and that's what what other things could you be putting in your body other than that? You know, you're making good, healthy choices, mm -hmm. even if it's just as simple. Take baby steps. You don't have to take huge steps. Yeah. It could be as simple as just having that apple right. or having an orange. Or instead of having your grabbing a bag of chips, I'm going to grab a granola bar. You know, and let me, let me tell you, know. you something. Let's go right back to the Dancing with the Stars. You know, last year when I participated, I lost six pounds mm -hmm. doing this because when you go and do the, the same routine ten times in a night, you're going to sweat, yeah, and you're going to perspire. But that that metabolism gets just amped up big time, and for two reasons. Number one, you get psyched up to dance. Mm -hmm. You have to. You have to be prepared. You just can't walk out there and all of a sudden just do it. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to get psyched up to do it. And then the second thing is, when you're learning new steps, it, it your whole body has to change in doing the things it used to do. So you become much more flexible. You get yourself in better shape, and you get that metabolism that goes up when you get that uh, adrenaline rush. Right. I won't tell you. So do you want a good way to lose weight? Dancing. I know they got line dancing going on out at the community center <laughs> at the Armory on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know that's not the same kind of dance we're talking about here where, you know, if you're doing swing dancing or disco or something, you're going to really just, be you're putting You're moving. Down. You're being But active. you're moving. Exactly. And if you look forward to it and get a song you like, you're going to move faster. Mm -hmm. You're going to actually get into it. So that adrenaline goes up. The metabolism goes up. And the weight starts to drop down. So right. it really is a good thing. So, uh, you know, for next year, if you want to lose a little weight, sign up for Dancing with the Stars. There you go. There you go. Yeah. You know, it, and you said, that brings up a good point. It's easy to do. I mean, you can look at one thing in your nutrition mm -hmm. and eat great, eat healthy. And that's, that's great. But there's other things to be doing as well, like being physically active. Sure. Okay. Um, it, it, it can be done with food, but it can't be it's easier to do it when you incorporate physical activity along with nutrition right. you're going to get it done faster you're going to feel even better within just eating right yeah. because you are boosting your metabolism not only with food but with physical activity exactly and if you look forward to something you know if you dread something yeah hard to get going but if you look forward to like practice with your partner and dancing with the stars mm -hmm. you know i really enjoy it now there was times i came back and i can honestly say this last year that my practice time was at 9, 9.30 after coming back from Sullivan after a basketball game, and that was the only time we could practice. That's tough. You know, so you come back, you go and practice, you get out of there at 10, 10.30, and you're, you know, I'm kind of drenched in sweat. That's how I, I am. But that's that was that was working for me. And then you know what? That night when I got home, took a shower, and I was out. Mm -hmm. You know, good sleeping pattern. It's too. great. Yeah. It's great for your, you know, you get that lactic acid out of your system. I mm -hmm. mean, I'm telling you what. 
you'll feel better about yourself. So, you know, we're talking about Dancing with the Salem Stars, but, and, and, you know, this year's lineup is set, but if you're interested in next year's event, let them know. Yeah. Just let them know at the hospital. you got a year to train. Well, exactly. Well, they'll let them know at the hospital and say, hey, you know, if you guys are looking for dancers next year, I'd be glad to try it. You Absolutely. Know? And uh, that way they can put your name on the list because there's sometimes, sometimes you have more men than women, sometimes you have more women than men. You know, sometimes somebody gets hurt. Right. You know, and then they can't participate and they may need a fill in. So, or life just gets in the way sometimes. Well, sometimes yeah. life does get in the way, but hopefully yeah, yeah, that won't happen to you. Mm-hmm. So, but again, we want to thank uh, you guys for coming in. Dancing with the Salem Stars, January 26th. That's a Saturday, 7 o'clock, Salem High School Gym. Doors open at 6 30. Mm-hmm. You can get your tickets now. You can call the hospital. Don't ask for Jason right now because he's here. Yeah. But uh, if you do call, 729-6626, <laughs> extension 2110, or ask for Jason Edwards. Whether you want to sponsor a table, whether you want to get your table ticket in advance, mm-hmm. or you need to get your ticket in advance if you want to, it'll be available. Mm-hmm. So if they call you, would they pick that up at the hospital, those tickets, or they would can, you just put them on will call? We can, uh, we can do either or. Okay. Um, we've been doing it to where – in individuals can come pick them up at the hospital we'll have them available or we can hold them there yeah either so way when they get to the get door they yeah. or the we'll put them in even if we're out and about we may even see if we can drop them by so i mean what's what we're doing after this we're going to be dropping that's off what tickets. we're dropping really? off we're doing four stops yeah wow well mm-hmm. that's great fantastic so again chris thank you for coming by thanks, Jason, for, having thanks for coming appreciate by it. we appreciate you guys and we appreciate our hospital doing all these different events i tell you it becomes uh, uh really important for people to know to support your local community and getting these things done because it's very important to support our hospital you know it's a major employer here in Denton county and we want everybody to know that uh, they're behind you all the way and trying to get you healthy and they do everything they can to provide the best service available so keep that in mind when you're looking at, at a going into um, a health facility remember you got the smdh family clinic you can get that service right there mm-hmm. uh your lab test can be taken right here even if you have to go to a specialist get your lab test done here it's we'll gonna them. be cheaper and you're gonna get those results right away and yes they can do it and don't let them tell you you can't do that and if you're recovering from surgery you can recover right here in salem you know they've got that opportunity to come right here we got a great right. physical therapy yep. got great Skilled home health nursing. Uh, you know, my dad just went through open heart surgery, and we I watched what Mercy did. Um, you know, and you see some of these people that are in home health and physical therapy. They're just amazing. You know, and I know our hospital staff is amazing. He just happened to be in St. Louis, and uh, and uh, he got just amazing care. But it's a you know to me, you know, watch these people who specialize in this. They are absolutely fantastic. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, we just want to tip our cap to them because sometimes that's not an easy job when somebody's trying to relearn how to walk. Things. And you've got to, you really. So that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. And you know what? It hurts sometimes. Right. It hurts for them to get back up. My, you know, like I said with my dad, 94 in open heart surgery, mm-hmm. they got him walking. Right. And his feet were hurting, and he did. They said, You're going to walk. Well, yeah. you might not want to walk, but you're going to walk. You know, you have to. You've got to get up and do it. So these people are special. You got to tip your cap to them. We want to thank our hospital for finding these great people because that's not always easy either. Uh, and and we're always people. looking for talent. So. You bet. And and the and the people that I know at our hospital that go and do these things, they're like family to these people. They look forward to them coming. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so. Well, we are family. Well, we I was are. Born family. and raised here. And yeah. I, well, I know it. But I, and home. there are a lot of them. I got here as quick as I could. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people do that, but uh, you know, you may not know that person that you're serving, but you may know somebody in their family, and usually right. that does happen here in Dead County. When you, and fun. you want to treat it as a family, the way I see. I mean. The reason why we do all these health fairs, the reason why we do all these events, the reason why we're trying to build these funds to provide these services for our community, okay? So it's like we want to build Salem and the surrounding communities. We want to build this hospital to provide these services for our families, for our community. So it's just, it's reaching out to them as well as everybody. But it's it's important well that we we do as much as we can and and get these resources in. I mean, you got to think we're we're servicing around twenty three thousand people, mm-hmm. twenty three thousand lives for this little hospital. And this little hospital does a great job yeah. of keeping keeping the health and welfare of these of, of this community 
uh, in, in good shape. And, and I think it's getting even better and better. And so the more that we can get out there and, and you get better one-on-one care out there, you're going to get more attention out there than you are in a bigger hospital. And it's just because there's in bigger hospitals, sometimes kind of like cattle, they just get you in, you run you oh, through yeah. the chutes and get you out, you know, oh, and here yeah. you get a little bit more personalized care. So, yeah, well, I know they'll get you out real quick when something happens because they need a bed. Nice to see it. Nice having you, but it's time for you to go. Bye. You yeah, it's know. not time to be a number. It's not time to yeah. be a number. When you're sick, it's not time to be a number when you're trying to recover. So right. anyway, uh, but we, again, we want to thank both of you for being able to come in, and uh, really do appreciate that. And uh, we do want to remind people: the Salem Hospital does have uh, a board of directors, and they have sign-ups still going on for a couple of district dis- districts mm-hmm. that uh, will be going on until next Tuesday. <clears throat> if you want to sign up, I think it's District Two and. I'm not trying I to put believe you on the so. I, I don't remember. But it you was can one call, of just, it was, yeah. just call 729 6626 and just ask if for administration they can tell you uh, which districts are, are the uh, districts are open and where those district lines might be. So you may not qualify where you live to be in that district. But even if you're not in that district, we have the auxiliary that you can sign up for to volunteer through. And oh, then sure, also yeah. we can always use help with the foundation as well. So Absolutely. All kinds of ways to help your hospital. We really appreciate everybody. You know, sometimes I don't think people realize how far our hospital district is, how big it is. Mm. You know, because, as you mentioned, 23,000 people, but it's almost like a small state. Yeah. That's, that's true. Yeah. That is very true. It's very true. It's a, it's a big district. It's bigger. Not very accessible in some of those areas where you have to get to, where you got to, there's no shortcut there. No, very good. Guys, as always, thank you much. Salem Stars will be dancing on G- uh, June, January 26th. Maybe again in June. Who knows? I don't think <laughs> That's so. That's a golf tournament. Uh, January 26th, yeah, golf tournament. Maybe they'll be dancing maybe, at the golf tournament. They may be dancing at the golf tournament, too. <laughs> yeah, we could maybe have a display out there. But uh, the 26th, 7 o'clock, Salem High School Gym. Love to see you out there. And, yes, I will be a judge, so that will be a lot of fun uh, judging these things because, uh, you know, it was, it was fun participating be a lot of fun judging though too i think it's going to be great see if anybody tries to pay me off (laughs) (laughs) it won't happen anyway guys again thanks for coming in here at ks radio our civic record coming up next the salem memorial district hospital is proud to announce the donation of a new mammal